As we've reported, a personal parish is being set up in the Diocese of Pittsburgh. It's a church that will respond to the specific needs of black Catholics during a time of racial unrest in this country. We're joined by the Bishop of the Diocese of Pittsburgh, David Zubik, to get a better idea of what this means. So Bishop, what exactly is a personal parish? How will it be different from parishes that are already predominantly African American? Well, thanks. First of all, Christine, good to be with you and all your viewers. Well, uh, in the in the church, there are already two types of parishes. One that's called a territorial parish, which is probably defines the majority of parishes in each of the dioceses. And the second is a personal parish. A territorial parish is exactly that. You know, when a parish is divided up into a territory, everybody who lives in that territory would belong to that particular parish. A personal parish, on the other hand, is a parish that focuses on particular needs of a faith community and tries to respond to that. So I think most people would be very much aware that at the beginning of the last century, as uh, we had uh, many immigrants who were coming from uh, Europe, there were parishes that were established to help people become accustomed to a new country. So you had your Polish parish and Slovak parish and, and Croatian parish and Italian parish. Uh, and so those were parishes that were established to really help those folks uh, be familiar with their customs that would, in fact, help to uh, help to deepen their faith. So that's what a personal parish is. OK, so can anyone of any race attend this parish? And what about the people who already belong to St. Benedict the Moor? You know, and that's a great question, Christine. Yes, a, a personal parish is open to people from uh, uh, anywhere who might want to come and belong to it. Uh, now, St. Benedict, uh, the, the, the more parish in, in the diocese, has had a long history. Uh, and uh, it has in the, fact, in the past been a, a, a personal parish. We're going through a major reorganization of our parishes, which we began back in uh, April of 2015. Uh, and St. Benedict's was folded into uh, two other faith communities in the city of Pittsburgh. But um, uh, it became apparent almost at the beginning of that particular merger that uh, there were specific needs that people from St. Benedict had. And so um, long before the crisis that we're faced with in our, in our country, uh, back in February, I, I went to, to have mass at St. Benedict, uh, lively mass within the, the context of the black Catholic tradition, and then spent a good part of the day being with the parishioners who who raised comments about things that they needed. I asked that they would uh, form an auto committee and come forward with some specific recommendations. I got those recommendations about three weeks ago, and, and the bottom line was we would like to ask you to consider to, to make this a personal parish again. And last weekend I announced that, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I, what I heard was, uh, you know, we have specific needs that we want the Church of Pittsburgh to respond to, and, and we're moving forward with, with their request. All right, and now this parish, as you mentioned, is being set up during a time of racial unrest, the deaths of black men and a woman at the hands of police. Talk about why now is the time to open this personal parish. Well, actually, to tell you the truth, it, it was a matter of uh, coincidence that it's happening. I'm going to say it's even a matter of divine providence, hmm. because as I indicated, the whole process of pulling together this decision really started to happen back in January. Uh, and I think that... Uh, my uh, hope is that uh, that people from the wider church, the wider church of Pittsburgh and beyond, recognize how much we need to be sensitive and empathetic to the needs of our black sisters and brothers. Uh, because I think that, um, you know, all of us have to look for ways in which we can join our hands and hearts on our way to God's kingdom. And this is a, a beautiful way in which we can do that, certainly in our diocese. All right, Bishop, Bishop David Zubik of the Diocese of Pittsburgh, thanks so much for being here. Thanks. Good to be with you. God bless you. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.